Üzeyir Bey Abdul Hüseyin oğlu Hacı Beyov was an Azerbaijani and Soviet composer, conductor, publicist, playwright, teacher, translator and social figure from Azerbaijan. He is recognized as the father of Azerbaijani composed classical music and opera. Üzeyir Hacı Beyov composed the music of the national anthem of Azerbaijan Democratic Republic which was re-adopted after Azerbaijan regained its independence from the Soviet Union in 1991. He also composed the anthem used by Azerbaijan during the Soviet period. He was the first composer of an opera in the Islamic world. Uzeyr Hajibayev was born in 1885 in Azerbaijan in the Yelizavetopol Governorate of the Russian Empire which is now part of Azerbaijan. His father Abdul Hussein Hajibayev was the secretary to Khushbanu Natavan for many years and his mother Shirin grew up in the Natavan household. Growing up, Hajibayev was strongly influenced by Natavan's work. Shusha often dubbed at the cradle of Azerbaijani music and culture, had a reputation for its musical heritage. The town was also referred to as the Music Conservatory of the Caucasus because of its many talented musicians and singers. And the fact that Hajibayev grew up in Shusha explains how at 22 in 1908 with very little formal musical education he was capable of writing a full-length opera. Hajibayev received his early education in a religious school, Madrasa, where he perfected his Arabic and Persian. Later, he studied at a two-year Russian-Azerbaijani school. Here, with the help of his favorite teacher, Mirza Mehdi Hasanzadeh, he familiarized himself with the heritage of the famous classic writers of the East and the West. The richness of the musical performance tradition of Shusha greatly influenced the musical education of Uzeir Hajibayev. He would later reflect on his experiences. The first musical education I got as a child in Shusha came from best singers and sass players. At that time, I sang Murams and Tasnifs. The singers liked my voice. They would make me sing and teach me at the same time. Uzeyr Hajibayev's first teacher was his uncle, Agalar Alverdibayev, an excellent 
connoisseur of Azeri folk music. In 1897 and 1898, when Azerbaijan playwright Abdurrahim Hakverdiyev and singer Jabbar Garyadoğlu staged the episode Majnun on Leyli's Grief from Leyli and Majnun, 30-year-old Zeyr sang in the choir. From 1899 to 1904, Uzeyr Hajibev studied at the Goro Pedagogical Seminary. There, along with general education, he also acquired music. In this school, Hajibev learned to play the violin, the violoncello, and the brass instrument. After his graduation from the pedagogical seminary, Uzeyr Hajibayev was appointed a teacher to the village of Hadrut in Upper Karabakh. Having worked there for a year, Hajibayev permanently settled in Baku, where he carried on his career in teaching mathematics, geography, history, Azari and Russian languages and music. He wrote the Turkic Russian and Russian Turkic Dictionary of political, legal, economic and military terms used in press in 1907 and the textbook Arithmetic Problems in 1908 and had them published by the Oruju Brothers Publishing House in Baku. Hajibayev was no stranger to the tragic chaos of war. He lived through the revolutions of 1905 and 1917 the fall of the Democratic Republic of Azerbaijan in 1912 and the post-World Wars. The political repercussions of these military conquests often manifested in other forms of chaos. For example, between 1912 and 1940, the alphabet systems for writing Azari were changed three times, from Arabic to Latin and from Latin to Cyrillic, a process which greatly hindered and interrupted the educational and cultural process and may well have one of the factors influencing Uzeyr Hajibayev to present his ideas verbally on the musical stage. Throughout all the tumultuous change in Azerbaijan that took place between 19 and 1940, one characteristic consistently reflects of character of Zeyr Hajibayev. He always searched for ways to merge and integrate the past with the present 
rather than to discard either form. Rather, curiously, even files at the Gore Pedagogical Seminary have shown his persistence in holding on to his own roots, even under pressure. On December 3, 19, when he was 15, it's noted that the student Uzair Hajibayev was rebuked because he was talking in his native language. Conversely, when Russian-influenced musicians try to ban traditional Azerbaijani instruments like the tar, zurna, and kamancha, Hajibayev and his colleagues pushed to incorporate them into the Western Orchestra, thereby giving them an even higher status and ultimately a chance to survive. In 1908, Hajibayev wrote his first opera, Leila and Majnun, based on the tragic love story by the 15th century poet Fizuli. This would be the first seven operas and three musical comedies that Hajibayev would compose throughout his life. In Leili and Majnun, the uniqueness of the traditional model music of Muram was incorporated into a Western genre with the use of instruments indigenous to both traditions. Ajibayev's second opera, Sheikh Sanan, was written in 1909 in a form that was entirely opposite to the first. This time, Ajibayev employed a purely European style. Sheikh Sanan received raves as a musical composition, but the content was too progressive for the period. In this opera, Hajibayev advocated that marriage should not be bound by nationality or religion. In essence, it was another form of integration. But this time it backfired. The storyline follows a religious sheikh on his way to Mecca who meets a very beautiful Georgia lady. To his horror, the lower the creature's father turns out to be a swire herd, carrying for what to him was a forbidden animal. In the end, the sheikh denounced his religion to win the woman. It said that when the opera was performed, many people were offended and worked out, leaving Hajibayev with the realization that he had outpaced his generation too much this time. As a result, he made a drastic decision and burned the score. When asked by Ramazan Khalilov, his assistant, how he could do that, Hajibayev replied, I didn't destroy my opera. It's my own creation, so it's always in my head. Halilov said that Hajibay went on to use this same magnificent music 27 years later to create Kuroglu, an opera that many acclaim to be his finest.
In contrast to Sheikh Sanan, Ajibayev's operas Rustam and Sohrab 1910, Asli and Karam in 1912, Shahabbas and Khurshud Banu in 1912, and Harun and Layli in 1950 were entirely based on Azeri folk music, primarily Mughal. In October 26, the musical comedy Arshim Malalan, The Close Pedla, by Uzeir Hajibayev, written in 1930, was announced to be performed on Western stages for the first time. One of Hajibayev's greatest legacies was bringing forward the idea of establishing professional music school. Hence, the Baku Academy of Music, now then at the Azerbaijan State Conservatory, was founded in 1912 and named after Hajibayev after his death. The school has trained Azerbaijan's finest composers such as Gara Garayev, Fikrat Amirov, Jovdad Hajiyev, Sultan Hajibayev, Tofik Kuliyev, and Fakif Mustafazadeh. His statue sits in front of this grand building that is still devoted to the synthesizing Eastern and Western musical traditions. In 1931, Hajibayev helped in establishing the Azari Folk Instruments Orchestra, affiliated with the Radio Committee. This orchestra performed European classical pieces, such as those by Mikhail Glinka, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Franz Schubert, George Bizet, and others. Ajibayev, thus was the first musician to adapt the note system to traditional Azeri musical instruments. In 1936, Ajibayev assisted in founding of the Azerbaijan State Choir within the Azerbaijan Philharmonic Society. One of the most serious problems he faced was the mono-voiced repertoire of Azari folk songs, which allowed harmonization, distorted style of the song, and on the occasion even alter the melody line when it changed modes. Hajibayev resolved this problem by using contrapuntal polyphony and unison doubling rather than four-part singing in the problematic sections. Ajibayev devoted much energy to the idea of integrating woman's role and status into the male-dominated world. The concept of woman's emancipation runs through many of his works, often in the form of comedy or satirization as in the case when he makes fun of the process of selecting marriage partners, a process hindered by the fact that women were still wearing veils until the 1912s, when the Soviet regime prohibited them. Gel, 
Kuzum gel yanıma, canımı verelim ben yarıma Kurban edelim ben canana, malımı pulumu canımı ben Gel canım gel, kuzum gel yanıma Canımı verelim ben yarıma Kurban ederim ben canana Malımı pulumu canımı ben From 1909 to 1912 Hacibeyev served as editor-in-chief for the newspaper Azerbaijan the main governmental media body of the Democratic Republic of Azerbaijan in 1927, Hajibay published collection of Azerbaijani folk songs along with composer Muslim Magomayev. For the first time, more than 300 pieces of Azeri folk music were documented by notation. In 1945, he published the book entitled the basis of folk music in Azerbaijan, which has been translated into several languages, including English. Hajibayev was the creator of the first operas and operettas in the Orient. In 1938, he was awarded with the title of People's Artist of the USSR. During the entire Soviet history, only three or four Azerbaijani musicians ever attained this level. He was also honored with the Order of Lenin and the Stalin Prize, which he won twice, one in 1941 for the Opera Kyoroglu and the other time in 1946 for the 1945 film based on his opera Arshan Malalan. Hajibayev was a professor at the Baku Academy of Music and active member of the Academy of Sciences of Azerbaijan. For the last 10 years of his life, he was chairman of the Union of Azerbaijani Composers. Hajibayev joined the Communist Party in 1938. He served twice as a deputy of the Supreme Soviet of the Soviet Union, the highest legislative institution in the Union. Hajibayev died of diabetes at the age of 63 and he was buried at the Alley of Honor in Baku.